Hey there, game makers. Once again, the updated version of the dot point eight August update of Game Maker has been dropped, and there are a few things, some bling blings. So this one highly requested feature, and this one highly requested feature, and a hidden one uh, in here. So I'm just gonna over go over them really really quickly. So the most important one is we have now tile collisions. We had that before. Four, but now we can have on all those um, I don't know place meeting collision point and whatever you want to have collision rectangle we have uh, now a new input parameter which is the tile set itself just for um, understanding for maybe for beginners so let's say these are here tiles you can just place them freely and but of course they are not scalable and then here the, 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 no, the default one is just with instances because they are a little bit more, well, they were better concerning how collisions were handled. Um, tile set collisions were really, really wonky and now they are not, which is really great. And then, for example, once we started, you will see that uh, we can actually have uh, the information being there. And then, for example, you can have your collisions now with tile sets as well, which is pretty sweet. So they that now work without being a complete, a complete dumpster fire in here, for example. Let's delete this one. So here, working pretty good, which is good. So I do dig that. Just for understanding, where are you? So here, um, why that is so important. It's not just that you can, for example, pass in a tile set. So here, uh, layer tile set get idea. So this is the one which I showed you this one here uh, this one here and um, now you can pass in multiple parameters so here if you have those brackets in this array it means you can pass in i don't know object something something multiple things in there which is cool so first of all the standard one which was normally it was just one thing now you can pass in multiple ones and you can mix and match between instances and tile sets excellent love the new feature so this is the first one then the second one is which you maybe saw already on the screen is uh, where are you um font effects so you can have an outline a glow or shadow how does that work really really quickly so um you have a font this one here draws that font and then now the new thing is font enable effect pass in the font which you want to have an effect on say like hey true i want it and then you have parameters which could be a lot or just a little bit depends on you what you want to have so here you have for glow for outline for drop so these are all in total and then for example you can just say like only like this for the uh, glow or maybe just this for the outline or maybe just this which you saw as the shadow so let's make this super ugly and uh, <laughs> give it a shadow an outline and a glow that must look really terrible yes it does so here once again but really really cool feature do love that so that was that for for this one so here once again the bling bling parts the best parts are these two here then for me personally a new and sneaky little thing in particles uh which shouldn't be underestimated. So let's say you have your asset class of your particles, and then you just um, create your particles. And then for example, you have multiple ones in here. And normally you would be doing them at the same time, which is a little bit inconvenient because particles effects or combinations of those are just, you know, one thing is coming after the other one. So it does make sense. It does look better because, well, this is the way it goes. And now you can put in, this is the new thing, delay. And let's say, for example, now they are together. And then let's go for two seconds, then it plop. And then the ring is coming later on. So this is how you can stack up these things and make really lovely looking combinations, which do make sense. And therefore, of course, you can fine tune them more. So this is pretty pretty cool thing for me so this makes this update for me at least mandatory besides the tile set collisions which make it mandatory as well um all right so that is that and then what else do we got well we got um 
the bug reporter, which already abused. So sorry, <laughs> sent in something which isn't true. Hopefully they will, they will delete it in due time. So if you're a game maker and you have a bug report, not your personal error, a bug report about the IDE or during runtime something is not working, then um, you put in here all the parameters and maybe you're thinking like, hey, maybe I'm not the only one which is having this. So you can just click on this link here and then it will open up um, the repository where you have already a list of things and you can even, I don't know, uh, check out tile and then um, maybe you're finding something which is uh, similar to yours. So here, once again, you can just go in and check it out. So this is really, really helpful and super convenient for us just to uh, send a request or just send it like, hey, and not a request, an issue that that you're having with the IDE, so with GameMaker, really, really cool. Then the next thing is to hear, uh, to show is what else do we got? So we got ourselves the de more debug tools. To be honest, most people won't be using them. So here um, you have a little bit more control. So for example, you can, can kind of create an, a, a console, which you can have some inputs and then you can kind of use that in game for, for cheaters or maybe for debugging. And then you can actually create your own mini console. So I already did one. It's gonna be ugly, I promise. <laughs> So um, this is this part. So for example, you can just say like, hey, custom debug view, and then you can, for example, create your own. Let's see if this is actually working. Uh, my own. Yes, it is working. So here, once again, as you can see, I created my own Bongo <laughs> mini um, debug uh, window. Of course, there's nothing in there because uh, I didn't do anything, but hey, this is the way it goes. Ah, and one thing, if your effects on your font is not working then well you need to enable sdf this is not flagged on as default but if you flag it on then the effect will work what else do we got so here not interesting inter then compressor not sure what to say basically a compressor is uh controlling the audio's dynamic range between lows and uh, the loudest and the quietest uh, tones of the audio and then you can just kind of clamp it so this is what it's good for some type handles eh, whatever <laughs> and then uh particle functions yeah and then for example once you rotate then it's uh, showing it correctly so here a little bit more control over particles always good and then some additional stuff for most people it won't be in too much of of an issue or interesting so once again the most interesting and most requested parts are once again the font effects and the tile collisions which are super super cool so here um love that feature all right um and one thing before i go there have been some issues but mostly have been uh, alleviated so this is good there is hopefully they fixed it but i'm not sure HTML5, the particle creation is causing the IDE to crash. So here, um, if you're um, HTML5 developer, maybe skip on this uh, update or um, just wait out until another patch is happening. All right, that was it then from my side. Have a good one. One up indeed.